Oh, man, I was a little overcome by the amount of creativity, by the amount of potential, by the amount of everything. There's, there's... <laughs> what do you do with unlimited creativity? And where do you put your time? Where do you put your everything? And I, every project, every product, every piece, every person, I just see so much potential. And it's, 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 we have to give up to the creator. We have to give up to divine intelligence. I don't care what word you use, but when you're in overwhelm, which can happen a lot, at least I find I'm in, I don't find I am in overwhelm because all you can do is what you can do in the, in the present moment. Right. And you just have to sort of switch and focus and, and, and learning the art of creation and you know what do you focus on and what are you outputting and who are you speaking to and what kind of relationship do you have like this is life we all have to do it but i'm putting forth that there's a a totally new way to do it that does not involve so much of the blocks that have been put there to stop us from really dancing with the universe. And they're trying as hard as they can to impose this paper prison on us. When in fact, if, if they were out of the way and we were left alone, we are going to design and co-create a beautiful world, like incredible, nothing can stop it. Like when you really tune into this universal life force at the higher levels, I, I, I don't want to impose hierarchy or higher levels, but I'm just saying that at the, at the levels of greater harmony, every, everyone and everything wants to play in unison. And it's so much fun and it's, there's so much joy in everything that's occurring that the negativity falls away and so much of the negativity comes because you haven't found your right place or you're struggling to survive because of the economic situation that you're in. And, and it's, it's designed that way. And, and the thing that we all have to come to terms with is that the current society we are in has been designed to really sort of, you know, create slaves out of humans and you have to you know, and it's a tiered hierarchy. And if you're at the higher levels, hey, everything's fine because you, you got your car, you got your food, you got your fridge and you got everything you want. And you can language what you're doing. But if you look at the entire system, which we have to do for the whole planet and now look at, okay, well, this is how it was and this is how it occurred. And these historical events happened but there is, there's, there's a, like a little, the dance or the battle or whatever you want to call it between the good guys and the bad guys, bad guys being people who want to oppress the people versus the good guys who are like, Hey, let's have a good time. Like, let's, let's make things easier for people. So there's, there's two types of people on the planet right now. There's kind of three, like there's the one who are oppressing everybody and they're small hidden you know, behind closed doors and they're doing their maneuverings and their media and everything they're doing to kind of confuse things. And then there's the uh, sort of super avatars that are kind of like, no, we're here to create an amazing place for the, our species. Now, you know, let's, let's stop all this military insanity and come up with the right solutions for everyone. And then in between that is the let's say the masses or the people who are going wondering what is going on. And so you're either in the sort of like the, the, the dark forces, the light forces or the sort of gray area in between. And you either know what you're doing or you don't. You are either connected to your spiritual purpose or you're not. You're either resourced or you're not. And each of us you know, you, you sort of take on the amount of purpose that you can handle. And so if you're at the community level, or if you're at the family level, or if you're at the individual level, or you might be at the provincial level, you might be at the national level, or you're maybe at the species, the, the international level, like it depends upon what you want to focus upon, because there's, 
there's so many of us. Let's say, let's just say there's 144,000. Let's just say there's 144,000 avatars, 144,000 people that are in their divine purpose, know why they're here and actually carrying out their purpose. So you either know you are one of those or you're not. Now, if you know you're one of those, everything I'm saying is a yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So how do we organize together? So me, I, my life purpose is to, to, is to assist everyone to do their purpose. So to connect in energy and information so everyone can better fulfill their purpose. So my purpose has been to figure out systems to connect everybody. And this is in the abstract language level first and then going into software. And so I'm kind of coming out of the cave, coming out of the closet, coming out of, you know, wherever I have been in terms of obscurity, because I have a big piece of the puzzle. And if you're watching this video and you actually hear what I'm saying and you, you get it, you're going to want to communicate with me in some way. And then I have to deal with, okay, how do I communicate with 144,000 people? Well, I've created a system, let's say, to do so. A thousand shared knowledge communities of 144 people. So if you hear this and you go, I'm one of those 144,000, you're in the very secret plan. You're, you're in already. We're all in this together. But I am sort of taking the reins of the horses and going, hey, man, I got the plan. I know how to do it. It's already built. It's there in the ethers. It's coming into the physical. I'm sure you're there, but it's it's like a game because everyone out there thinks they have the plan. Everyone out there thinks I've got this piece of the 144,000 because you've got some massive, big, huge piece and you do have a massive piece of the plan. And I'm not saying I have the whole plan, but there is something sort of a little bit different with what I'm offering you, because I'm going to give it to you. I'm not, you know, it's not like sign up here, 1999 and Bobo, you know, we're not doing this for money. Every one of the 144,000 needs to be fully resourced. And I have a way to do that too, because we're creating the new economic paradigm. We are creating the whole new system. So obviously the first 144,000 in get resourced and assist everywhere else because each one of those people then is now connecting into 144 other people. And so that's how it goes. Like we're, we're creating these larger and larger collectives that all connect together in unity in a manner that is like good for the people. So there's these two kind of systems com the, uh, competing. There's the old paradigm, which is looking to sort of control and, and take over the planet. I mean, they, I don't know if they've taken over the planet they may think they have control of the planet, but things are going to change very quick at some point, right? Like it's not going to be that way. Like you may think that, oh, wow, they've got all this military infrastructure. They've got all these governance systems. They got the banking system. They got everything. But, yeah, you know, when you're dealing with sort of God or creator or divine intelligence, all of that is meaningless in terms of the larger evolution of what we're meant to be. We're not meant to be here killing people, hurting people and, and, and acting like uh, insane savages. You know, that's, you know, they portray this in the media because they control the media. They are controlling the stories. They're controlling what they want people to think. But if you look in reality, what, what do humans want to do? We want to, you know, have fun, have sex, have, have a life, have, have, have you know we want to enjoy our life we don't want to worry about the vikings coming over the hill to take all our stuff and kill everyone in the village like those days are gone like you can kind of we can watch the movies we can watch the tv we can think yeah that, wow that that was you know that was interesting but i don't think many humans really want to experience war anymore like if you, you really looked at it, you know, it's, it's like, yeah, I don't really feel like seeing a bomb blow up my neighbors over there. Like, I mean, I live in Canada, you know, we are, you know, in, in a place where we haven't experienced war. I mean, there was, of course, the genocide of all the First Nations people, which, you know, is coming to the surface right now of, you know, the insanity of that. And, you know, th that's what we're all dealing with as a species. We're dealing with you know, thousands of years of insanity and it's within our DNA, it's within all of us when we're all trying to heal, you know, it, it, to some degree. 
and everyone on the planet has to heal. We all have to heal, whether through generational uh, DNA sort of uh, strands or just ourselves, what we went through in this lifetime and what we're doing here right now. So that said, you know, I, I've put forth kind of other videos and other other thing, other information around uh, Captain Sweep, and you can look at those, or other people can put them forward. But I mean, in the present moment now, I can pretty much say that those that want to participate in this plan are going to do like very well. And it is, we're aiming at everyone being in the full trust zone. Like nothing in this is about trying to steal your money, steal your shit, you know, in some way rip you off. Like that's the thing in the past, the, like the old paradigm fear-based business practices where, you know, you, you gotta watch out for that guy down the road cause he's got a shotgun, he's gonna blow you in the, you know, this is gone. We want to interact with kindness and love, you know, and trust and integrity and all of the higher values and virtues that all the spiritual traditions talk about, right? Like we are entering into a world where we have to act with ethics. We have to act in a manner that is taking into account the next seven generations, that is taking into account the, the most of the deeper, higher spiritual traditions that we have all had throughout all the worldviews on this planet. And now we're coming to, to a, a, a unitive focus point where we can agree upon certain things like, hey, let's not kill each other. Hey, let's respect each other. Hey, let's use dialogue and communication if there is conflict and reach some sort of consensus agreement around what so the solutions are rather than in any manner going to violence. I mean, the time of violence is over. I mean, it, it is happening and we have to uh, accept what has happened, but I think that we really have to get to the point where the military systems on the planet have to sort of ease down. And this is from the will of the people. And if you're looking at, you know, the real reasons why war occurs, it's manipulated, it's designed, it's created by only a few people so that they can create their little entanglements around the planet. And that time is going, that time is almost over. They, uh, you or I, or they may not think so because it's so obvious that the, the insanity seems to go on forever, but no, that will end. And it'll end like this because there are other higher forces involved that have such a power that uh, the negative forces on this planet um, will just have to disappear. They will be given a choice, but this will change at some point. And uh, I don't know quite when, I don't wanna put that forward, but uh, it will. And you just have to understand that there are things coming onto this world that, you know, sort of cannot be stopped, bigger things and uh, those that control the media and the governments and those that are only looking out for their own power and greed, their time is over. And uh, we have to look at, you know, okay, well, how are we truly going to govern ourselves and how are we truly going to organize ourselves? And these systems are coming through many different people across the planet, the, those systems are there. So I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a heads up because uh, one day <laughs> the world is going to kind of go, hmm, uh, that guy. Uh, but that's just the way it is in the very secret planet.